Canada is ordering family members of diplomatic workers in Ukraine to leave the country. The update confirmed Tuesday by Global Affairs Canada, and it applies to embassy staff's children under 18 and their relatives. The announcement coming on the same day as Moscow reports a series of new military drills said to include short range ballistic missile units. This as fears grow that Russia is planning to invade Ukraine. In a statement, Global Affairs Canada says their temporary withdrawal of diplomats families is due to the ongoing Russian military buildup and destabilizing activities in and around Ukraine. We uh, are following the situation in Ukraine extremely closely. Outspoken about his support for Ukraine, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau announced a $120 million loan to the Ukrainian government last week. On Monday, he said the decision about Canada's diplomatic presence there would be made based on the safety on the ground. We are extremely concerned uh, about uh, the Russian aggression and the uh, ongoing threat of further invasion into Ukraine. Canadians are also being advised against non-essential travel to Ukraine. The government saying if you are in Ukraine, you should evaluate if your presence is essential. The U.S. has also ordered diplomats family members to leave Ukraine and the UK calling back some staffers. Russia has some 100,000 troops near its border with Ukraine, but it denies it's preparing to invade. And days after a warning out of Ottawa from the Canadian Centre for Cyber Security, saying it's aware of foreign cyber threat activities, including by Russian-backed actors to target critical Canadian infrastructure, the Treasury Board of Canada Secretariat is confirming what it calls a cyber incident involving Global Affairs Canada. And no details about who may be responsible, but they say in a series of tweets it happened January 19th. And now some access to internet and internet-based services are not available as part of mitigation measures. But they say critical services for Canadians are currently functioning and their investigation is ongoing.